Hello everyone, Aiden here. Um, I'm still probably going to try and film a review for this week, but I had four separate pens that I was waiting on uh, that I had on order that have all gotten delayed that I all wanted to review. So, uh, at least those aren't going to be reviewed right now, but we'll see what I can do. But anyways, in uh, the absence of that, I wanted to give an update on one of the pens that I've talked about previously, and that is my... Uh, Omas Paragon Arco Fountain Pen because if you watch my review uh, you'll remember that I had a few little issues with it that I was working out. Uh, first of all by the way this pen sleeve rickshaw uh, pen sleeve with the uh, um, pink robots designed by uh, Hey Matthew super plush inside not bad huh uh, gotta keep a, a fancy pen stored nice. But anyways, uh, hashtag not sponsored. Um, yeah, this pen, great pen, love to use it. But if you remember, I had a few problems with it. First of all, what I did talk about in the review, um, where there were a few problems when I originally bought this pen. I, I got it for a pretty good price, so I wasn't too mad about that, but, um... The piston filler was definitely a little sticky, and there was sealant coming out of the uh, gap right here, which is where the body screws onto the nib section, or grip section, I suppose. Uh, and that was like 20, actually 30 year old. This was made in 1991, you can see. Um, 30 year old gunked up thread sealant coming out right there. So. I uh, had to heat it up, unscrew it when I originally bought it. it, took me forever, and took all the old gunk out and then applied some silicone grease as like a stopgap, I suppose. Definitely doesn't serve quite the same purpose, but it still worked, it still sealed it up. It's just that the sealant actually took up volume so that's what it was designed to uh, be used with and so when you screwed the grip section in with the sealant it would align the Arco design but with the silicone grease which is much thinner and not really like viscous and doesn't take up as much volume in the threads uh, physically when you screwed it on it would go past this sort of alignment look um, so yeah, I dealt with that for a while, and then the next problem that I had was the pen kept burping a lot. I'll see if I can find a picture, but whenever I would fill it up, it would just, you know, burp like crazy, and it wasn't really worth writing with, which is sad, because I really like this pen. I really, like, it's a, it's such a great writer, and such a good size, even, even besides the fact that, like, come on, it's Arco, right? But that was the other problem that I had, and I tried to fix it, took the pen apart, tried to heat set the feed, nothing was really working, but then, um, you know, I posted on Instagram, started asking around, um, and a lot of people, I think the first person was uh, Yasarian on uh, either Discord or the pen addict Slack suggested I get this. Now what that is, so I was using this before, this is silicone grease, your standard stuff, but this is Schaefer Thread Sealant, sold by uh, Ron Zorn, uh, it's much more viscous and it's meant as a thread sealant, which is exactly what this needs. Um, so I ordered that, uh, wasn't cheap, but it was worth the chance that it would work. And then I, you know, heated it up so you could actually make it malleable, applied it to the threads, also applied some more silicone grease to the piston because, you know, why not? <laughs> um, and then did that, let it sit, got it to a point where it pretty much aligns perfectly. Um, and then now it's actually working. I did a thing. I did a repair. Um, I've done I've done repair jobs before, including a pen that I'll talk about in the future. 
uh, like something like this. I've done like a handful of lever fillers, um, touchdowns, and vac fillers, which are my favorite to do. And I'll definitely talk about vac fillers soon, but this is like the first non-filling system repair, just like a getting a pen in working shape type repair that's not like 80 years old. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I will give you a little demonstration and show you how it works now. I'll ink it up, give you a little writing sample, so you can see it in action. First of all, here's the, uh, the piston. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, the piston works fine. Um, Omos pistons aren't the best. I'll be the first to admit it, but it works nice and smooth now. I'm going to see if I can try and fill it up with uh, diamine turquoise. The bottle is like more than half empty, so I'm not even sure I can... Yeah, that's not even going to fit. I'll see if I can manage this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I inked it up with Diamond Aqua Lagoon. Very similar color, just a, a fuller bottle. <laughs> so, let's give, it a, let's give it a test, shall we? This is Omos Paragon. And then this one was made in 1991. It has a fine 14 karat gold nib. And then, of course, it's inked with Diamine Aqua Lagoon. So, not a bad pen to actually see in action, huh? Working pretty good now. And of course it's got that lovely nib. And it's still a wet writer, even though it's not hemorrhaging ink. <laughs> so, yeah, very happy with how this little uh, repair job turned out. Um, hope you enjoyed the update and just a chance to, you know, uh, geek out with me about a pen like this. Jumps. The lazy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little second look at this pen. Happy that I got it in tip-top shape again. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in whatever review I do next. <laughs> Bye.